Baseball Hall of Fame induction class of 2020, Ted Simmons. Welcome back to Cardinal Insider. And today, we're joined by Teddy Simba Simba. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Never yeah. been better in my life. It's been a, a wild ride, huh? It has, it has. Was, uh, it any, was it anything like you expected? It was way beyond what I expected. Um, this whole Hall of Fame thing began to build about two and a half years ago. I had an earlier election and I got 11 votes. And then when that happened, uh, this momentum started to build. People would approach and say, hey, you're going in. I'm telling you, you're going in. I said, well, I've been through this before. Just, you know, try to stay calm. And then the momentum kept building and then I was elected. And then when I got to the hall finally here in the last 10 days or so, it was way beyond my ex expectations. You get up there and you see those people behind you and they're all living Hall of Famers and you get up and do your chirp and <laughs> you get it over with. <laughs> it's really, really pretty special. There are many roads to Cooperstown. One look at this very special group behind me makes that clear. For some, it comes quickly. And for others, it takes a little time. For those like myself, the path is long. And even though my path fell on the longer side, I would not change a thing. Your, your speech, your preparation, uh, how that, I mean, how, tell us about that. Well, they bring the new elected Hall of Fame members uh, to Cooperstown. It's like a freshman orientation when you go off to college. They bring you in for a three-day weekend and they show you the whole place, um, prepare you for what to expect when your induction finally comes. And they said, we'd like for your speech to be in place and in our hands by April the 14th. So. Um, it took me about three weeks to really put the thing together like I wanted to say and include the people I wanted to mention. By the time I was ready to turn it into them in it, that April, um, I had it like I wanted it. Um, now it was just a matter of, you know, practicing it and getting some comfortable delivery. And um, so I've been waiting to do this for almost two years. When the St. Louis Cardinals selected me first in the June 1967 draft, they brought me into their historic and very successful baseball family. The Milwaukee Brewers became my second baseball family. Next came the Atlanta Braves, followed by the Pittsburgh Pirates, Cleveland Indians, San Diego Padres, and the Seattle Mariners. So I have lived within many families and am about to step into baseball's most elite family and I am incredibly humbled. Putting this whole thing together was a real difficult thing because a lot of the people that um, you know, I knew and was associated with and loved have passed. You know, my mother and father, my older brother, significant people, my in-laws, you know, my, my wife's family. I just decided, you know, uh, you know I'll, I'll just bring them. And it's really the only way I could get through it emotionally, I, I, I got to the place where I said, look, you know, the hardest thing you're going to have is to get through this, knowing all these people have passed. And so I just put a framework in my head that said, they're here. Did, did you dream about making the Hall of Fame? Oh, yes, of course everybody does that. And I mean, especially if when you're young, you know, you start recognizing that you're better than the other guys. And then, you know, I, you know, most people know I grew up in Detroit and watched the Tigers play. And, and, you know, I used to dream, oh, God, if I could ever play in the majors. And, oh, God, if I could, you know, ever be in the All-Star game or, or, you know, play in the World Series. And, and God, Hall of Fame, give me a break. What, what are you looking forward to as far as the Hall of Fame is concerned? Well, I think the, the, the thing that... I, and I and I know it'll be nice to go back and not have to give a speech. Well, that would be the, that's, you know that's dynamite where, where you can relax. Yeah, right. Well, they they've told me that you know now that this is over, you're going to really enjoy going. And I think the 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 um, camaraderie uh, of all of these people who I've played against or with many of them, you just can't imagine how when they're all in one place like that 
and you're shoulder to shoulder with them all. You just, you just can't really get, get used to it. You can't believe it. I'll get used to it and I'll believe it, but I'm really looking forward to that. We want to thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations again. Very well deserved. And uh, we've got to have about a glass of wine together. <laughs> we'll do that, man. Time, all right? We'll do that. <laughs> sure enough. More Cardinal Insider in just a minute.